Hi guys! So today I'm going to be filming a very different video than what I normally film. Um, I don't know, I'm addicted to planners and I have been for a couple of years now. And the planner that I've been using is this one. This one is like a DIY kind of planner. I'll link a video because a girl I follow on Instagram, her name is Arissa. I could be saying it wrong. But I'll link her, her video that she did on these down below and I even use the same print and this I love this because it is so like you have so many options on what you can do and like I change the paper in there as many often you can do it as many times as you want and um, but this is just the one I have in there now so then I open it and it looks like this and then you can buy these are all Avery like pages you can buy them at Staples or some targets like, so that they're just completely, um, customizable, is that a word? Um, and before this, so this is this year's, and I've had it since November, November maybe? Um, maybe a little bit earlier than that, but before that I had an Erin Condren, which I love. They're kind of expensive, I feel like, and I would want one that is has you can take pages in and out that's why I don't really I probably will never go back to a um, coiled or any kind of bound planner just because I like to take pages in and out and yes so that's that but if you want one that is just ready to go you don't need to do anything you don't want to do anything Erin Condren plum paper they all make good ones but um, this one's a really good one and I kind of think did I say what the video was today I'm gonna be reviewing the Heidi swap planner whoops um but I just wanted to show you what I'm using now and I'm gonna kind of compare between them to show you like the pros and cons so this is what the Heidi swap planner comes how it comes um oh not this thing that's mine but um it comes with like this plastic cover which you can it's like a book cover and I wish honestly I wish that see how it has this stuff on the back in this I wish that they would have put like a piece of paper that had that and then the clear thing just be on its own that way if you wanted to you could leave the clear thing on that way you could protect it more but it's not so I guess you could always make one of those um but this is how it looks it's not leather I don't think it's uh it feels kind of like leather and it's nice so let me just show you the size comparison here so and I'll have all the sizes and stuff linked in the bottom. And I'll have everything where you, if you can buy it linked in the bottom. The thing I love about this also is that you can print um, like on one standard sh uh, print of sheeting paper or printing paper is half. So you cut it exactly in half and that's what fits in here. So I like that you don't have to um, waste a whole sheet of paper. Like, you know what I mean? And then cut out a random square on that paper. So that's something to consider. This one is a little bit this diff the size difference. Watch, let me take a paper out from here. Hold on. There's a little bit of a size difference. In hold it on, hold on. What did I do with that paper? Ah, see, so you can tell. So this is the one from the a this is an Avery from the brand Avery. This is a calendar page, and then. So you can see how this will not print in half. So I guess you could always put a smaller piece of paper in. Like you can just say if you were to cut it off, do you know what I mean? Like, and you could still cut it in half. They'll just be a little bit narrower. And and they're also a little bit shorter. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say that because to me that's the thing, you know, I don't want to have to waste all kinds of paper. And I just really liked that this is, so this is half of a standard sheet of paper. So I just, I, so I can print this, I can copy this, and then just cut it in half and you have no ex extra paper or anything like that and you don't have to waste, you can put two on one. Okay, so now that I'm rambling on, this is how it looks and then you open it and it looks like this. It has like the same kind of material inside but it's like a off an off-white with gold polka dots and the there's tabs for all the months. And this is the first cover page. This is January. And I want to say this is $29.99. I bought mine at Michael's. Um, I think that there's a few other places that sell them online. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so make sure you use your coupon. Th when I bought it, it was 30% off. So I would rather use my 40% off coupon, but it was already on sale, so you can't use your coupon. But um, So it made it like 20 bucks. And I think this is the cutest planner 
that I've seen. And I've I've been wanting a Kiki K planner, but I just, you know, it's like some of them are expensive and the one I want is kind of expensive and I'm just like, and I have to wait for it to get shipped and you know, and I really like this one. Um, I probably still get that one, but that's a different story. So it comes with the tabs already. Let's go through this. I don't know if you can see because of my lights. Can you see? So um, I left January how it is. So when you turn the page, this is how it looks. So there's um, little questions right here. So it says photos of the month and it has lines. It says who, what, when, and then down here, who, what, when. So when you put the picture there, you list all the information. And then on this side, it comes with a little, this is a fail, I'm failing. Um, plastic sheet. Let me see if I can turn off my lights. Hold on. So now it's kind of dark. Well, so now it's kind of dark, but I think you could see better. So it comes with this little plastic sheet. It has two little things. Oh, and mine is upside down because I put it upside down. But um, you could put the little cards. I know she sells little cards that have different stuff that are decorative. And then it comes with this little like half sheet um, and it has the days of the month numbered. And then January on the top. Okay. And then right here it says, you are here, thankful for what was awesome, and I probably should. And I'm not sure if this is like a scrapbooking kind of journal or um, planner or what, because obviously that's stuff to remember. Well, mm -hmm. And then so then you have like this little like sort of grid paper right there. And then you have the month. And these are like the fill-in kind, which I kind of like because um, and all the months look the same. And all the beginning of that, this is all the same in all the months. Um, and I kind of like that they're filling because then if you skip a month or whatever, you get it late, you don't have to, it's not like wasted, you know, you can still use it again next year. And then the only, one of the cons that I don't like is that, see, so they have the week and they're all numbered. So one, two, three, depending, they're not numbered. Okay. So if you're going to use this for like scrapbooking or something, that's great because you could just put whichever day. But if you're going to use this for planning, I don't like that because I like mine in like a week format. So I want this to be Monday and Monday's not always on the first, you know, so I want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know what I mean? I don't want to be confused. So some days Monday will be right here. And to me that like to my mind that confuses me because Monday always, you know what I mean? So that's one of the things I did not like about this. But yeah, another thing is the pages are sort of hard to turn. I don't know if it's like the way that the bot, like the the coil, the cl whatever these are called are. See, so they're kind of flat on one side and they're circle on the other, but they're kind of hard, like, oh, I feel like I'm struggling. Okay. They're kind of hard to turn. Like you can't just like turn them all at one time like I can in my other one. Like you have to get like a little section at a time. And so you kind of have to like, like sort of work with it. Like you can't, I definitely can't turn all of this, you know, unless you like kind of do this, do this, see the struggle, the struggle. So now I have to turn it back. Crap. Okay. So that being said, I don't like that. It just irritates me that I have to like do like two pages at a time. That's not convenient. And then, so you have all of your tabs and, um, I don't know why there's random black ones. I think every third, fourth one is a black one. I don't know why um yeah so they all have a different cover which i like so i usually put the month that has passed like so now we're march so february and january and february would be in the back of mine whenever i start doing it so then february i'll show you all the top pages so then we have striped for february gold polka dots for march black with fl flowers for april Ugh. You see how the pages, it irritates me. The black and white polka dot for May. Gold for June. Uh, a little quote in gold, live it up for July. August is black and white striped with flowers with some gold details. And then we have for September, we have absolutely completely unforgettable and another quote in gold foil. In October, you have some random gold polka dots on a white paper. And then for November, you have floral again with some gold. And then for December, you have black and white polka dots. And that's it. There's no note pages or anything that comes with this. You can probably, you can definitely make your own. Um, but that's, 
doesn't come with it. So I really like the setup of this planner. And I love how even the pages, let me just open this, looks like there's washi tape for this. There's not, that's just how it comes. And um, where's that polka dot one? Is it different for every month? No, I just wanted I just saw a polka dot one. Hmm. Maybe I'm on crack. But I like little details like that and all the names of the months are in gold. Now for the tabs, you see how these ones are bent right here. I don't know if you could tell like how it's kind of messed up. It's because these are like cardstock. Um, I don't know, like it's like thick paper as opposed to something that's laminated or like plastic, like the ones that are in here. See how these, these don't bend. Let me just hold them up. These don't bend because they're like laminated or whatever, they're plasticky. These get really bent and funky looking and I feel like they're gonna fray. So that's just something to keep in mind. I think I'm just gonna laminate each month's page so that's another thing and then on this side you have a little pocket so you have this big pocket where i have already have crap and then you have i don't know if you can tell one two three little pockets so one here one here and one here and they're all about that like this deep is this one um so that's nice because my other one just had one straight pocket and in the back there's no pockets okay so is that all i have to talk about I talk about okay Mm. Also, this smells like Lisa Frank stuff when you were a little kid. If you had Lisa Frank, like like that plasticky smell. I don't know if it was because of the cover that it came with, because this really smells like that. But this still kind of smells like it. It's kind of going away, but um, if you're not into that, I really like it because it reminds me of when I was a little kid. But yeah, it kind of smells plasticky. But if, if once you take the cover off and stuff, it's already going away. So yeah, maybe I'll do start doing like a series on planners. Um, I'm definitely going to use it. Honestly, this is the cutest planner I've ever seen. It has all the cutest stuff, you know, it comes with all that stuff and it's really cute and it's not that expensive. However, there's definite downsides, I feel, that compared to my other one because I'm just so used to it and like the pages turn easy and it's plastic and you can wipe it and you know, it's, but it's not, I think this one's cuter like the inside, but honestly you can make any, you can make any planner look like this, the pictures and the tabs and stuff. So that's kind of the thing. Depends on what you really want. I think in the end, I'll probably end up going back to this just because I can change the cover. And if I needed a new binder, it's only like $3. And you know, I can make it look like this, but yeah. Now, one other thing that I wish it had was like a closure. Like, you can use like the little straps that they sell or whatever, or headband, I use a headband on my other one. But like, I like them when they stay closed, I, like stuff will just fall out of this. But that's the other one too, so. Okay, now I wanna talk about a few other things that I got for that planner because everything was 30% off. Um, so I got these little pages. These are the Heidi Swap binder refill pack these are these, they all say family activities in there so they all look like this and then they're they have this on the back i don't have family on myself so i don't know but i bought these so that i can like i can because the weeks saturday monday tuesday wednesday blah 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 uh and i'm just gonna cover this and write something else so i'll do like my work schedule on one and like my workout schedule and meal plans so you like this is a cool little thing to have so because it, it has three different sections so if you wanted to do breakfast lunch dinner or whatever um that's really good or if you wanted to do just all on one so if you wanted to do your workout schedule and your work schedule and your school schedule you know that's cool so that's why i bought these and they were fairly inexpensive i think they were like 2.99 to begin with okay the next thing that i want to talk about i bought this little pack looks like this Okay, it's like a little bag, you know, like you see in school, it's supposed to fit in the binder. And this is says the flea market pouch. So it, it comes with this and the inside was this little like, these are like fluffy stickers, they're not fluffy. What are they called? They're like the 3D ones. And then it came with these little page flags, which are really cute. These do not stick, so you have to stick them, FYI. And then it came with these little tag things. So that was really cute. And I really liked that it was gold and stuff. This fucking thing doesn't fit in there. I don't understand. What they were thinking, like, there's the holes that come pre-cut, you know, and it doesn't, they don't line up with the holes in this thing. So I don't know if this is for something different. Like, I don't know if you could tell, like, there's a hole here and a hole here. So a hole here and a hole here. Maybe it's for a different thing, but it was with, like, all this stuff was together. And it, 
I don't understand. And you know, these are not like standard holes for anything. I don't know if you could see them. Like, it's not a three ring, three ring binder or anything. Uh, so I thought that was really weird. And yeah, I can cut my own, but I was just irritated that I didn't understand. I didn't understand. I still don't understand, but okay. And yeah, this is not the best quality bag, but it, it, this was probably like $5 and then after um, sales and stuff. It's not the best quality, but I thought it was cute for what, for going in there so I could put like a couple pens. Then I was irritated that it didn't fit. So I digress. Okay, I'm moving on. Okay, and then I got, this is the, see this one even says for memory planner. Did this one say for memory planner? It does, I don't think it did. Uh, maybe it, I don't know. I don't, I, I lost the little clear thing that came with this. I just had the little um, box, but it, I don't know if it said for memory planner or not. This one does. Um, and they come with like these little pockets that look like this. So it has a little pocket and then it says something. They yeah, all say something different. And then it says change is good. And then, so there's that one, but it comes with these four. And I think these these were so cute. They were only a couple dollars too. And you can definitely hole punch them and put them in there. I haven't decided what I'm doing with them or which binder I'm putting them in or what, but I thought those were so cute. And then I got, like I need more paper. This is the 36 sheets paper pad by Heidi Swap, double-sided. So that's what they look like. I just thought they were super cute. So they were on sale. And the last thing I got from her collection was these here i got two st stickers um i just thought these were so cute because they're planner they're four planners like it says to do and special day memories hello you know like it just says a bunch of random things like birthday anniversary so you could put them in there so i got two of them i think they're so cute and then the last thing is these are this is not from her thing it's from the recollections line but i got some washi tape because i didn't have black with white polka dots i only had white with black polka dots so yeah, that's kind of like my first impression on this guy. I do like it, and I think it's worth it. like the $20 that I paid after your coupon. Always use your coupon. <laughs> um, but there's definite things that like irk me, you know what I mean? Like that whole page flipping thing is really going to get on my nerves because I do use my planner for work and school and everything. Like a, like this, this thing is my brain right here. Um, so me not being able to flip everywhere is just irritate me so I might like take a hole punch and make the holes a little bit bigger and see if that helps um but that's just you know whatever but yeah I thought this was really cute I saw it on Instagram so I had to have it and yeah that was my first impressions on that one I like that it's um easily accessible you can find it at Michael's and you don't have to order it and wait for it and all that stuff and yeah I'll have everything listed in the comment I mean the comment in the down bar if you have any questions just